Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over George's Excel checkbook register and I'm going to go over an exciting new version. This is version 7. Currently I'm in the account summary section and your account summary is basically a list of your accounts and the register balances and some information here on the right related to reconciliation. Below here we have your total assets, total liabilities, and your net amount. It's really easy to add a new account. You just click this button right here and you add the account name and the account type. In this case, the credit card would be a liability. And then you just click the arrow next to the account name and then you start entering your transactions. Let's go back to the account summary and let's talk about what's new. Currently, you have the accounts and each account has their own register and you enter the transactions in each of their individual registers. What's new is that look up here the button all the way to the right you can view all transactions from all registers combined. So if I click that button here this is a list of all the transactions from all the accounts that you enter into the program. And what's nice is the transactions in this combined register are automatically entered for you as you enter the transactions in the individual separate registers. So these transactions here you do not have to enter. You just enter them, if I go back into the account summary, you would enter the transactions in the individual registers, for example this one, and whatever you enter there automatically goes into this combined register. So this is beneficial because a lot of people are asking, um, they would run into this situation here if I go back to the account summary and let's say that they were in this credit card and they wanted to search for groceries and they get a list of all their transactions from groceries but that's just for this particular account. So if they want to see all the transactions related to groceries they would go to account summary, they would go to view all transactions and then they can search by category. Click OK. So if we look up top here we get a subtotal of the transactions that meet that filter criteria. Right above that amount, we get a count of the number of transactions that meet that criteria. And above that is a count of the total number of transactions in the combined register. And if you look to the right here, you have a filter on the account name. So we can see here that we spent money on groceries from two different credit card accounts. And we can further filter that by date, different date periods, and also by the description. Okay, so let's go back to the account summary. The next thing that's new is the reports. Before you didn't have any reports other than being able to filter within a register and get a subtotal. So let's go to the reports here and you can see here what they call pivot table reports and these are fully customizable by you. So we can see here for in this particular report that this is the year of 2020 and we can see all the months and I just entered sample data for the entire year and then we get a grand total here at the end. So let's talk about this particular report. We have your income less your expenses and you get your total. So that's something important for you to look at so that you know that you're not really overspending. So up here you can filter by the category type. If you just want to see income categories, you could click there, just the expense items. You would click there. I also had payments and transfers, but in this case I really don't want to look at those. I just want to see my income versus expenses. So that's really easy to select. You just slide right over it. And then they're back here. So right over here is where you can easily select your months. So if you just want to see like 
January and February. You just select like that and you get a total of just those two months. You pick the months that you want to look at and then you can click here to clear that. You can also do it by quarters. So if you want to see first quarter or the fourth quarter, you could do that. You can even do it, you can do it by years, even down to the days, if you just want to select specific days and show those filters. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that and show all the data. Now let me show you how you could change the layout of this particular report. What you're going to do is you're going to select inside this report and right now we have income and expense and it shows the category totals for those items. But what if we wanted to see for example in groceries where we spent that money on groceries. In order to get that information all you do is you come over here to these pivot table fields. You can see here description is what you want. You're just going to click it and drag it down here below category and now you could see what groceries is made up of. So you can see in groceries we spent uh, at three different places, Publix, Trader Joe's, and Whole Foods. And you get a breakdown of those amounts and the total of each of those amounts. So we can see here looking at this, Publix for the year, over here is your totals, we spent the most. And then Trader Joe's and then Whole Foods, the least. So that's what's really neat about the ability to customize these reports. So let's say that we want to, let's give an example of adding something to this. So let's say that we went to the grocery store and let's say we went to Walmart because for the whole year we did not go to Walmart. So let's go back to the account summary and let's say that we made a purchase from our checking account. So we go here to that particular account. I'm just going to put this in the month of December. We'll say it was December 25th, 2020. And we went to Walmart. We're going to assign that to groceries. And let's say that it was, just to easily stand out, minus 777. So let's go back to the account summary. Now if we go to view all transactions, you will see that that transaction shows up right there and from which account it came from. Okay, so it gets added to your list of all transactions. And let's see if it gets added to the report too. So let's go to the pivot custom reports, pivot table they call it. And if we look here, just by clicking that button, I'm going to highlight it here. And you could see there, I'm going to shrink this down a little bit because that's being hidden. You could see right there for December is our Walmart purchase. And then the grand total of it. Now if you don't want to see the detail of this, you could click those buttons to shrink or expand it. And you can do that for each of these. Now what's really cool is you can further customize this and let's say you were trying to figure out of this Publix amount, what account did it come out of? So all of these amounts, which account was used to spend that on? So to do that, right now I have the account name up here. So you could take this report here and you could say, just show me the expenses from my two credit cards or the transactions for my two credit cards. So that's just transactions for my credit cards there. Okay, so you could filter by account. So I'm going to show all accounts. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that account name and I'm going to drag it down here under the description. And now you could see the expenditures at Publix broken down by account. So it looks like here at Publix, looks like for the first several months, 
we were using the first credit card, account number one, and then for the rest of the year we used credit card number two. Let's go look at that Walmart that we added here. Remember, it was 777, and you could see from this report what account that came out of now. And it was checking account number one right there. Okay, so you could minimize these again just like before. Okay, but let's go ahead and go back to this layout here. Another thing you can do here with this report is you can customize the look of it. One basic thing that you can do is change the colors of it. There's tons of colors, so you pick the color that you like. There's even some more drastic changes with these color layouts. The other thing you can do is change the look of it in terms of how the information is laid out. So you go to Design. You go to Report Layout. Currently, we're in compact form, but there is tabular form, and there is outline form. So there's different layouts that you could do and some other information that you can change here in terms of showing totals or not in blank rows. I'm going to go back to the compact form. Okay, so that's your custom reports. This is, like I said, they're all custom in terms of how you want to lay it out. Let's go back to the list of all transactions here, and let's go back to the account summary. And the final new feature is related to categories. So before, when you go to one of the registers and entered a transaction, you would have to manually type in the category. And the most reports that you could do is just by filtering here and getting a subtotal of those transactions. Now when you enter a category, you can pick from a drop-down list. So before, you did not have a drop-down list. You just had to type it in. And you could see here you have your income categories, expense categories, and other categories. So the way you get categories inside this drop-down list is you go back to the account summary and right here where it says category list you have your list of categories which you can edit and delete or add to. So let's say that we wanted to add a new income category. Let's just say we call this AAA bonus money. So what you want to do is sort that. So now it's in alphabetical order. And if we go back to the account summary, go back to one of the registers, and if we look at the category list, it now has that item right there that you can select. Okay, and all the reports are based on adding a category here because then you can get category subtotals. Okay, so let's go back to the account summary. So that's a basic overview of the new features of Georgia's Excel checkbook register version 7. And if you're interested in the checkbook register, there is, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link in the description to the product page where you can find out more information about the product.